been a minute, I know. I haven't really been posting for a while and it's kind of something I want to change up and be more consistent at. So feel free to leave in the comments below any topics you'd like me to discuss in future videos. So in today's video, we're talking about racks. I believe I might be the first to make a video about this specific rack. So this definitely deserves a like and a sub. So without looking at the title, in the intro, you're probably wondering if this badass rack was one of those high roller American brands such as Rogue, Rep Fitness, Titan, Sarnex, and so on. I'm happy to say that you guys are all wrong. This baby was made on home soil here in the Philippines. Yes, here in the Philippines. By a fairly new team that started their operations in the 2020 pandemic. These guys are Underdog. And by the way, this video is not sponsored. So Underdog, Bahanaman. The package I got was a UNMC 4.0 power cage with additional attachments such as the multi-grip pull-up bar, spotter arms, and 10-inch plate pegs. The J-Cups, pin and pipe safeties, and regular pull-up bar come standard, but they also have upgradable options. For the price, it can range from as low as 23,000 pesos all the way up to 50,000 pesos depending on the package that you avail. Not to mention that the racks are made out of 11 gauge steel, so you can definitely expect heavy duty quality and heavy lifting, boy boy. They are also powder coated and you have several colors to choose from. They come standard with 5 eighths or 0.63 inch hole sizing on all four sides of the uprights and they also have standard 2 inch hole spacing. However, there is a west side hole spacing option which allows precise safety positioning when you do your benches. Man, it's hot. So is the west side option really worth a couple thousands of pesos? Eh, for some, yes. For most, probably not. But for me, I got it because it looked badass. Now let's talk about the pros and cons. For the pros, aside from the outstanding craftsmanship and the stainless steel hardware used, I feel like I can trust this rack with my life. Because the steel is so thick, I feel like it can definitely hold up whenever I fail my reps. But of course, with the safeties positioned properly. Safety is extra important for me, as it should be for everyone, because I'm working out a Alone, and the last thing I want is another pro another pro is because it has holes on all four sides of the uprights it gives you a wide variety of attachments to choose from it also gives you the opportunity to be creative and maximize your workouts just in one cage in the end a rack like this is a grown man's Lego and I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate never ending upgrades as for the cons, there's only one thing in particular that I can point out, but really this is me just nitpicking, and that's hole numbering. This rack comes with a lot of holes, more so if you get the west side spacing option, and it can be difficult to place your safeties or your J-hooks on the same level, let alone even just trying to remember your ideal placement for when you do your benches, your squats, and so on. I personally think that this should come standard already with the price point, but it's something that's easily remedied just by placing labels like what I have done. So there you have it. All you need to know about Underdog's power cage. And I honestly think that this is a game changer in the local gym equipment community. Hashtag support local. On another note, you probably wondered what this thing is behind me and that's an adjustable pulley system. I'll probably save it for another video. So tune in for that. If you want to see more of this rack in action, feel free to follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I like to keep those accounts updated daily. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and to motivate me to continue posting. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.